Men need to sleep with 50 girls. Let's watch that. That's what that's what I, I think. think they got um, what I'm doing is I'm teaching guys how to acclimate to the current situation. So the problem is, I wish it was 1950. Women are women were traditionally feminine. They came from a two parent household. Their father raised them right. They had a mom that taught them how to be a lady. And, you know, you met a girl and she was a dutiful girlfriend slash wife ready to go. But those days are gone. So what I tell guys, you got to adapt to the new normal. And the new normal is a lot of girls are hoes. A lot of girls don't deserve a relationship. A lot of girls don't deserve marriage. She belongs to the streets. If you are going to get married, you need to have some th things in place. And I know this is kind of controversial, but this is what I tell guys. I tell them you need to be at least 35 years old, have had sex with 50 girls, have making six figures a year, six months to one year in savings, and you're in shape. Now, before everyone goes, oh my God, what the hell? Yeah, but like, why 50 girls? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, because my, my body counts significantly less. Okay, fair but enough. But I feel like, you know, being with one girl for a long time. You see, Foom, first messed up. You have to really point this out, bro. Is he started that sentence with, I feel like, not I know. Really, really understand that when people are having these kinds of conversations, they're giving pushback. He started that sentence with, I feel like, not about what he knows. Now, I know what Myron's going to say, if I'm not mistaken, is that she would respect you more if you had a higher body count because you've been shit tested by more women. You've gained that XP and now you're able to have a tighter frame on your preferences and your boundaries because she is falling into your lifestyle, right? And that's why if she falls into your lifestyle and she becomes a part of your life, you become responsible for her. That's why you want to provide and protect her. And that's what she finds attractive in you. Right, and so having that, that, you know, that's that's how she'll respect you more. Partner and learning the ins and outs of it is enough. You know, you don't need to see multiple women because it devalues you as a man. Do you respect yourself as much when you sleep with multiple women? This oh, is no, a it's not. It doesn't work the same. It's different. I share. I, I, well. I, yeah, I don't guys, want. I don't okay. want to give it away too easy. We, you know? we, we made We're a the prize. We made a very good case uh, for monogamy to Sneeko. Okay, we, we had him sort of rethinking his life. I think. Yeah, I, I I see my energy as something I want to retain, and I, I don't agree. want to go out there and share it with every girl. You know, they have to be someone special for me to spend time. You see, and and that's that's the biggest misunderstanding that they're gonna have in this podcast, which is pretty much. You don't want to, I get, I get where he's coming from. You don't want to sit here and take on more risk with women that are, will essentially that have a lot of emotional, emotional damage and will come back and bite you in the ass, right? With some me too shit or some, you know, some crazy shit just because they don't like you out of spite. That's why you don't want to mess around with a bunch of different women. I get that. But when you put yourself in a position to maybe deal with one, two, three of those, right? And then you've got other other kinds of experiences right other kinds of connections you're just able to understand women as a whole and like i said it gives you a better frame a better perspective and um a better understanding of what you're willing to tolerate and what you're not willing to tolerate and you know also you're going to be able to understand hey this is the kind of girl i like more than anything um, i'd rather put it into my businesses and make myself more successful but he's still 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that's adorable. But the reality <laughs> is... They're, they're, that's, adorable, that's, son. That's, that's, that's yeah. adorable. And here's the thing. That is a fantastic mindset to have, guys. It is. But I'm going to tell you why it's not optimal. The reason why it's not optimal is because girls nowadays have more sexual partners, right? And since girls are more sexually experienced with opposite gender and understand how to navigate the sexual marketplace and the dating marketplace... A girl's strongest superpower, right, as I said before, is you not understanding yours. And when you haven't hooked up with enough girls and you don't know how women really are and you don't understand female nature, which you can only acquire that through dating and sleeping with girls, what's going to happen is you're going to get finessed. Now, it used to be you could find a nice girl next door and she'd be okay and you wouldn't have to worry about it and have all this experience, etc. But nowadays, for you to be able to come into the relationship as an experienced male who's been through uh, other women, you've made money, you've been to the gym, etc., I would say 50 is a good place to be because a lot of these girls have high body counts. Now, is it going to be possible that you can find a girl that has a low body count that's going to be okay with it, et cetera? There's always exceptions to the rule. Yeah, I feel like the, my girlfriend the, has a lower body count than yeah, me. Yeah. And I, I think I'm going to marry her. You know, yeah. I think she's the one in the future. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel the need to go out there and sleep with more girls. Yeah. But if you did, right, what ends up happening also is that it makes you a very good judgment on which girls are worthy of giving a relationship to and which ones aren't. It gives you that experience so that you have, how do I say, 
you know what's good and what's bad. But Brain the problem control. is, is that a lot of guys, they get shack up with the first girl they get, right? And that girl might be a chameleon. That girl might not necessarily be worth a relationship, but they're not Keep able to, to, the to tell the difference because they're not experienced with women. Why do you so, necessarily need to get that experience though from sleeping with them? I get maybe going on dates, mm -hmm. but why sleep with all of them to, to know that? Uh, Mm, that's a, that's actually a good point that he raised right there. Why do you need to sit here and actually sleep with them and actually go through it, right? Because you have to understand that when a woman is that open to you and you sit here and you you know go in and you sleep with her, she you're gonna have a, another. You should, if you're positioning yourself in the right in the right position, you should be able to one understand women's bodies better, right? You should be able to understand what actually pleases her in bed. You'll actually understand. Oh damn, bro, women like it when they call you daddy and you got them begging for shit you know what i'm saying you'll understand you know that that's why when you deal with women that are very promiscuous and you deal with women that aren't promiscuous you kind of want some of that xp of dealing with the promiscuous women so you could bring it to the woman that's not as promiscuous right because now you're training her because that other girl trained you <laughs> to, to a certain extent so like you, you do kind of need that xp to be able to not just keep it uh not just keep a frame control in the relationship when you're communicating with her but also sexually because women will form a stronger bond with you sexually if you know what you're doing all right that's why a lot of these women that got a lot of emotional damage they were thinking with their vajayjays instead of thinking about preserving themselves i know as a man like when when the woman is someone that i would respect and i want as a partner yeah i've also learned from other people and just social media and speaking to people that all these girls are wild you know all yeah. these girls ain't shit so when i've got it on lock and it is good why fuck it that doesn't um, make any sense like why ruin it i, I have to be honest with you yeah, just right. so you've got a bit of history as dad and son mm -hmm. i mean realistically curtis has found a particularly lovely girl mm -hmm. i mean she respects the family uh, you know me and my wife mm -hmm. she respects see, and, they, and they understand that they've they are the exception they have an exceptional relationship you know they don't have to live up to this rule and, and that's fine that's just myron's advice to most guys it's just a broad generalization so you know curtis she's very intelligent very, just a lovely person. Mm -hmm. So I think he has got an exception there. To be perfectly honest, from my experience, I'd say he's got an exception. Yeah, and I'm sure I'm sure he probably does. But in general, you know, I tell guys not to wait for the exception. You got to understand the generalities of how a lot of women move. So Optimal. when it comes to your, because your question was, if I'm not mistaken, was why have sex with them, right? Yeah. Because, why why do you need to have sex? With them? Uh, because that's when you've conquered the girl and you've pretty much figured it out. Because the thing is, is that, and I'll and I'll explain what <laughs> I mean. These are my favorite this. pods. <laughs> yeah, Con conquered, conquered the, the girl. girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and the reason why I say that is because when girls yes. deal with men, because it's a game, bro. It's a game. It's gamification. You have to understand, bro. Women want you to lower their defenses and then rise their rise their emotions, bro. And you're kind of toying with with their emotions, like like a toy, right? And you're figuring out, hey, you know, I like the, cause that, that's how you get them to do shit. You gotta understand how they react emotionally. And then once they've slept with you, bro, like it's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap, you know what I'm saying? Unless she's, she's got a high body count, she's not gonna care about you. But if she got a low body count and she chose to open up with you, that's special, you special now. Now you got a certain, now you've got great power, comes great responsibility. There, there's two, it's a dance between the two genders, right? The, the woman is trying to leverage sex for some kind of compliance from you, whether it's more dates, resources, time, something, right? And the man is trying to get sex without giving up everything that he has to. But, but let's be honest here. Most of the time, the girls are winning this, you know, head and shoulders above guys where they're getting whatever they need. And the guy is, you know, sitting there still spending resources. And sometimes he doesn't even get it. So as a guy, right, your job is to get the sex as quickly as possible, get it over with and figure out who she is because girls will play a front right and act a certain way or behave a certain way before they give up the box mm -hmm. so that's why I online tell, games are guys, important experience of Real multitude life games of important different too. women because you're able to figure out which girls are good which girls are bad etc and 50 i think is the bare minimum in the western world because these girls are out here there's chicks that get that in a semester in college right as women are becoming more educated chasing their careers more etc their body counts are going up alongside it so i just don't want guys to be in a situation where they're dealing with a girl who's more sexually experienced than he is, she's able to manipulate him, play a certain role. He can't see the difference because he's thinking with this head and not this head because he hasn't dealt with enough Emotional girls. He marries this girl, it. he commits to her, and then bam, he gets divorced, raped, or destroyed, or you know he gets cheated on, whatever, because he didn't know better. 
So I think the guy's got to be in a position where he understands his value and he can only do that when he deals with other women. Surely if we're setting girls, the, tar the, the men, the target to sleep with 50 girls, though, there's going to be less nice girls out there. Well, I was going to say, the ideology marry. means that, doesn't it? I mean, if every guy mm -hmm. sleeps with 50 girls, mm -hmm. how's he going to find a virgin or up to a five low body, body count? count. Yeah. It's not gonna you see, the reality is that there ain't no virgins, bro. When they're 18, these virgins don't exist, bro. Women as a whole have failed, bro. They failed to preserve themselves because society has pushed them in that side of do what you want, do how you feel, F him, it is what it is. <laughs> so, you know, women have failed in that regard as towards, you know, being a virgin. So, you know, the same way they want to make these small little exceptions, it doesn't work for the majority of men. That's just the truth. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get out there, get the experience, and then when you're ready to settle down, you're doing it on your terms. And then you can go out exactly. to a place that, you know, prioritizes that type of society, whether it's, you know, Dubai, That's why maybe we like hoes. Some, the Middle East somewhere, <laughs> maybe a Catholic City uh, country, City depending on whatever your religion is. But my thing is, I just want guys to be able to be good assessors of female characteristics that are um, to their benefit as a man versus taking the first chick that gets their pee pee wet which is what so many guys those are for target okay, practice so you feel like Yo! you until you have sex with her and then you see the Bobby, bro. and city then you can make a judgment that's a part that's a part of it right. but you you got to sleep with her and then that's when kind of the mask comes off a little bit and then you can try to figure out who she is but the thing is is that i just don't want guys and the other thing too there's another reason why i want them to do this i want them to have an abundance mindset because a lot of guys get with girls so that they can solely so they can get sexual access i don't want that I want them to get to get with the girl because they want to. A lot of guys get with a girl or get in a relationship with a girl out of necessity. I want them to get in there with an abundance mindset like I'm picking you. The problem is that most guys allow girls to pick them versus them picking the girl. 